Welcome back to Night in the Woods, everyone. I'm not going to summarize what happened in the last episode. You go, should just go watch go it. Watch there was it. a lot that happened. Please go watch it. At least the last couple minutes if you haven't watched up to this point. Yeah. Because, wow. Anyway, go ahead. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water. Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine, river. We're in a mine. Right. Mine river. It's mine river. You have control? Oh, hey, she can run. That's good. Can you jump? I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in one foot of water. Right. I can't jump, but... But you can run. Shit. I know what you are now. I think I knew before. But, you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else. Something I'd lost trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out in the window, last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time, and the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something at least. <laughs> Pretty amazing to be something at least. You know, I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then... Do it. If not, May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh huh. Hey. There's light over here. Did you smell that? Bet he did. <laughs> Can you go back right? Yep, it's the pool. I just... Wow. Okay. Looks like you gotta do some jumping. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough at least. Huh? Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I... I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... Okay, yeah. Are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. <laughs> hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I am seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you. Those. <laughs> okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. 
I wonder if you're at the chimney that your mom took you to in the field. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Victorious music coming, and it's getting lighter. You can do it, May. Jump those jumps. Climb those stones. Cool. Nope, you're in a wishing well. Or something. Ah. Oh, stop <laughs> motion. Okay, fair enough. This place. Huh. Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. Heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. Y you were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard. It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Okay, can you- Can <laughs> you go get it? <laughs> hey, May! Yeah? Was that germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here! In the woods? No. <laughs> My entire body hurts. That was a long way. Brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. He really is. Need a sugar and caffeine. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Here goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ's a good. Germ is a good man. Strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess. But we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh, God. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like... It's morally gray. We're not murderers! Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would've. Uh... What? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh. This is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. I was half expecting someone to run up and follow them. Hey, guys. Uh... Are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Uh, hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff, and that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary, like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can, like, connect things, or connect two things. Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's just something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kinda killed that guy to save me. Don't think I didn't appreciate that. LOL. Am I ever going to have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's over. I want us all to get free of it. I don't want us to just be a part of some horrible story. 
I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm all rambling now. I just gotta believe that there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry I caused drama between you and Angus man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. <laughs> if you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just going to erase all of that. Oh, shit. <laughs> Guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. Don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. You've just picked up an achievement called Changing of the Seasons. Oh my god, it's winter! It is winter. Ugh. Ugh. Morning! Oh no. <laughs> now we get to see their reactions to that. Weather service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? Hi. Hi. <laughs> hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing brand band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice me messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. If you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Good to be alive this morning, that's all. Casey. Bound for glory, he said. He was not going to follow in his brother's footsteps. Everything is shapes. Skull hole, little Joe's dang skull. Is this why his spirit wanders? Must he be avenged? Saw him... Legends. Angus is good. Greg rules, okay? Greg rules, okay. Honey, I'm Horm! God, it's been a long journey. It has been. Back when things were simpler. Your parents forgot you! F the cops. What was that tooth even about? I don't know. There's just a tooth on the safe. God. In the tooth locker. Band practice. Band practice. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not gonna cry today. Hey, Granddad's clock. Hey, Granddad. So what do you think she was referring to that she was talking to in the pool? Probably the goat. But I mean... Oh, you mean the goat at the bottom of the hole? Yeah. Like, I assume that's what sucked her in. It wasn't the god. The god spoke English. I was interpreting it as her fear of something. Of Maybe. stagnation or whatever. We're gonna eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. I should, like, reread some of these. I mean, I got time. Cozy months are coming. 
Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the bag of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre. Influence on much of the 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. May? Honey, is that you? Yeah! I'm back in the kitchen, if you want to talk. Of course I want to talk! Yes, let's see how Mom's doing. Hey, sweetie. Hey, Mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Why? It's been... I just... Hey, you're an adult, and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw, uh, Mom? We need to come up with some ground rules, just because. Honey, you could have died the other night, and then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I had a really tough year, Mom. Hun, you you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is, just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. Can We can talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air! <laughs> sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow! Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hon. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, Mom. Anything else? Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, c cool. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Wanna hear one? Sure. Far from here, the ocean's roaring far away across the din. I hear the Lord call their children, bringing in, bringing in. See you walking through the barley, we'll find you. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord call their children, bring them in, bring them in. Dairy with me for a moment, talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven, bring them in, bring them in. That's nice. It is, it is nice. That's a little scary. You could talk to her again. That is scary, scary, scary. It is a little scary, Hear scary, Hear the Lord scary. of Colin. Bring him in. Into the hole. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. Bring him into the hole. Into the death hole. The death hole? Death hole. <laughs> Whoa, Dadders. hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, uh, Dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff. But this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't. Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house. Try to, at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. The unions were always there in the mines in the factory, at least for a while, but here... Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Well, Mom said we can make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some... stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff, too? Just one big, uh, stuff session? That sounds great, kitten. 
Love you, Dad. Love you, too. Be back later. <laughs> Just had to jump on that mailbox. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet. See if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Dum -de -dum -dum. Oh. Dadders. Well, we will finish exploring the town this last time and probably end the game in tomorrow's episode. Since I'm low. Oh, wow. The Kareem's got a new dog. Hey, puppers. Aw, oh, saw, seesaw me. I can see you from here. I will be watching. So beware. Be a good pup. Well, that's not scary at all. Thank you all very much for watching, and we will see you tomorrow for another episode. I found a car.